Jesus thinks with leadership, and you know Jesus with Judas, betrayed for, by one of his own, own inner circle. You really, as Christian leadership leaders, I call it the fleet of principle. I adopt dogs. My dogs have written several books. If you don't believe it, come on over here and I'll show you. They photographed each copy. They're best smelling fathers, as I like to say. But one of my dogs that I adopted was terribly damaged. And when I brought her in, yes, she was terribly damaged. So is that, so is that dish that just got dropped right now. Um, when I brought her in, I had to totally revamp everything in her life, her diet, her collar, her psychological issues, everything, how she interacted uh, with my other pets. And I called it the flea dip principle. I had to change every area. And it's like when people come out of rehab or, or you, you, you become a new Christian. You have to change it all. You have to change what you put in your mind, what you put in your body, and who you hang around with. Because if you let one flea, Ruby says, let a single flea stay on thee, and soon you'll be in misery, all right? When we fumigate, we need to fumigate all areas of our life. And that's why Jesus spent so much time with each of the disciples. I think a lot of times as Christian leaders, if we have nine out of 10 people that are on the same page, boy, that's really good. But it's that one that if we don't deal with as leaders, okay, it will infect it. It will ruin the whole thing. And I think a lot of times that is one of the most difficult things for us is to hold people accountable.